right guys good morning and welcome to tuesday tuesday is the sales barn early this time i'm looking for what are those things called again guineas guineas i'm looking for guineas try and get guineas this year but we'll see i don't see no guineas but we'll see what happens eh? Check it out. Ah. hey what are those guineas no, no those are ah. <laughs> you got you don't have to keep it, I guess. Eh? No. Uh, no. No chicks or anything no. like that either? No. Not yet? Got some puppies. Puppies. We're a bit early and there's nothing. <laughs> Come early, so if there's nothing. Sheep. Alright, so yeah, we are super, super early, so obviously there's nothing for us to see here. <laughs> nothing for us to see here yet, but I don't know if we're gonna stay and wait we have to go get some grain and stuff but yeah didn't bring enough chickens today so no silkies for me and I mean these chickens were they good. did have a turkey though but I mean the turkey was ready to put in your freezer good uh, morning guys welcome to today's video just like typical Canadian fashion it's freezing cold again <laughs> Hope the horses are okay. It's gonna get by, today's Tuesday. By Sunday, we're gonna be into spring warm weather and I'm excited. Sophie and I washed all of our brushes and stuff. Hers aren't out here to dry. I always put mine outside to dry. They are all set out here. Usually the sun, I feel, makes them dry fast, obviously. <laughs> I like to set them in the sun versus dry them but with a towel, especially like my brushes and stuff. Still have some hair in them. It is shedding season, that's not gonna change. I have our brush bags in the washing machine. So as soon as they're ready, I'll show them to you. They wash so well. Brush bags wash so well. This is the status of our chicken coop. It does not look very clean. I don't know why actually, it looks way worse than the camera, but it's actually clean. This is just leftover hay, straw I mean. This is leftover straw from, this, from the winter. It might not look like it. <laughs> But it is way clean. This thing is completely empty. I'm gonna get some fresh shavings <laughs> for spring. It actually feels so good to have that horrible rooster that attacked us every single time. Like, if we've only had, we only had him for a year. It's my belief that by the time your rooster gets to be a year, they kinda are aggressive and it's not fun and it sucks. And if we just have to keep getting rid of roosters until we find a good one, then that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm dressed super warm today. I have like warm la layers on. Why not just walk over that egg, dude? Whoa, don't you get mean. I almost forgot that I brought the pig out. <laughs> don't run away, piggy. I definitely don't like the way that the coop looks at all. I almost want to put this thing back in that corner and then build the coop over here, but it just wouldn't work like that. Once it's warm again, I'll have Sam and Sophie come out and build the rest of this coop so it looks a lot better. Now that we've lived here for eight months and we kind of have a better idea of what we want, Sophie and I are trying to farm with intention, to do intentional farming instead of just whatever happens. I know what you're doing. You're looking for food. Get out. You're not scavenging. Sophie and I made a list of all the things that we want so basically Sophie and I made a list of all the things that we want for this season and we want to be very specific about our needs and what we want to do with our future on this farm so what Sophie really wants is to do Polish chickens and she wants to do more more silky chickens. So those are her breeds of choice. Hi, let me fill the feeder. They hate this feeder. They have to work at this feeder to get the food to come down, which is super annoying. They just want to eat it. So I always put two feeders in there. One that comes out really quickly. They can get it really fast. They don't have to work at it. I just always worry that they're going to be hungry. And it's definitely taking them a lot longer to go through a bag of 
feed, but all of them are still in good shape. So, so it's working for us. But chicken chores take as much time to, to do as goat chores do. All right, little piggy, let's go in. Let's go in. Oh, there's Sophie's brushes. I feel like there's a lot of brushes for what you actually use. I use literally three brushes every day. That's it. I went in the house to fill up the another to fill up another water bucket, and the pig stayed out here and was playing and playing and playing. I watched her out the window, and then the minute she realized that I was gone, she ran to the back door. So that's really good. Oh, the water situation for the chickens is the hardest. I think that's why I find chicken chores so hard. All right, extra water. We have two waters. We have that one, and then we have that one over there. Two feeders. You can't tell that that one thing is almost full, but it's almost full. And then we have another feeder over there. Still love him? He cock a doodle doo right in my ear today. So, one of the guys that we sold roosters to. He came and he was like all ready to go out there and capture some roosters and I just walked over to them. They just stood still. I scooped down, I picked them up and they just were like calm in my arms and the guy was shocked. He's like, wow, are they tame? This is the second rooster that we decided to keep. I feel like he's gonna be trouble. I feel like he is so super gorgeous though. He's got so much orange on him, it's not even red. The next thing that I need to do is come in here and clean all this stuff off. Because they are looking a mess. Oh, handsome. So, oh, your dad put the horse blankets on today. That's so nice of him. I love that. So, I got some comments and some messages asking why we have blankets on our horses when it's not cold out. And the truth is, that we put blankets on if it gets more than four below zero. And or if it's so super windy that it feels like it's more than four below zero. Oh, he's, <laughs> he is, yeah, he is ornery today. So I ran out of hay for my goats, or I'm almost about to run out of hay. Sam's gonna go get some tomorrow. So we are going to steal, ouch, this one right here. And the other one too, he said to take both of them. Did he say take one? All right. Yes. Sophie's a strong girl. Farm life, you guys. <laughs> They're coming back to put you in in a few minutes. He's like, where's my dinner? The truth is that I really am excited to get the, this barn cleaned. I want it clean before our next farrier. We do farrier every six weeks. And I want to get it cleaned up and I want to get it like summer. I want to get it like fresh. Hi, Pen. <laughs> she loves me, you guys. She just watches for me. So we were walking down here and we heard one little ah! and it was Winston. And then we heard ah! that was louder. And it was Winston's mom. <laughs> They're the noisy ones. So even though it was super warm and beautiful yesterday and I was able to get a lot of things done, today is not super warm and beautiful. And in fact, we're heading into a huge uh, rainstorm slash snowstorm. It's supposed to start tonight, rain all night long, and then be okay like tomorrow afternoon. I'm okay with rain though, when it means that our grass is gonna grow and our hay is gonna grow. It's gonna bring us that much closer to summer. Let's play a game of what color babies do you think this sweet, beautiful girl is gonna give Laura? Sophie says she hopes I get a Winston. And actually, I was looking at her and I was looking at that brown color that, that's in her neck and that's kind of like the color that Winston is. And I was thinking, I bet you I'm going to get that color. It's like the only color I don't want, even though it's cute. Aww, Winston's adorable. Winston is adorable and it's cute, but I don't want two of the same color. I want one that has lots of white. I mean, I like Winston's color with white. See? She's going to bed. She knows her stall. <laughs> Sophie, you go put her in. 
Oh, we sit here after we feed all the goats. We sit here with here with her while she eats her food. Hi. <laughs> Just those eyeballs sticking over. <laughs> we have five weeks left until Rosie gives up the hostages and gives birth to her baby. I feel like she's having twins. It's so weird though. I saw every, I dreamed every baby that was born on this farm. I knew Mocha was gonna have two brown ones. I didn't know if they'd be boys or girls. I knew Tilly was gonna have three and that they would be lots of colors. That's what I dreamed, lots of colors. I thought, I didn't know that they would each have their own color and be such a variety of colors. And I dreamed that Mocha had one baby. I didn't dream the color, I just dreamed it was a fluff ball and that we found it in her stall just like we did. As much as I've tried to dream it, I've not dreamed Rosie's babies. I've not dreamed it, so I don't know, I have no idea. All my life I've always dreamed things before they'd happened. I've always dreamed things that were gonna happen to me. I've always dreamed things that, how they were gonna turn out. Just like the little buck that I bought, I have a little bit of anxiety about it. Like, he was expensive. He was super expensive and I, and I was kind of second guessing it after, thinking like, oh, is he the right one? Even though he seems like he's gonna be the right one. And then I dreamed him that we built a little um, platform area out in the buck part of this goat, goat area. And I dreamed him laying up there and just lounging in the, in the sun. I dreamed that he was calm and relaxed, unlike our last buck. Like Winston. <laughs> Like Winston, I dreamed he was like Winston, but he didn't look like Winston. And I dreamed that I loved him so much and that he brought so much peace to me and to our farm. And so now I know, without a doubt, that he was the right choice and that it's gonna be an exciting, amazing year next year for breeding season. Anyway, that is it for today's videos. Um, I have lots of stuff to update you about Gabby's license. You guys know that she's about to get her license. Her birthday is at the end of this month and we arranged for her to have her testing done as soon as possible after her birthday. So lots of fun, exciting things happening this year for Gabby. I'll send them out to put you to bed, okay? <laughs> They're like, we know the ghosts are having supper. Why can't we have supper? Don't you know that you're beautiful?